introduce yourself quick, please? Hi, I'm Johnny. Uh, I work at Facebook here. We're uh, just going to demo this new product we have, or the new groups. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, we have a slightly new composer here. Um, it shows, but all the functionality is the same. Uh, posting to your group, like posting statuses, um, whatever your comments. Um, if you want to add links, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Adding photos. You want to add a photo here? Page. Uh, adding photos is pretty straightforward. It's the same as it was before. Uh, adding videos. Uh, I mean, if you want to upload a photo here, my mouse is bugging out right now. Okay. Uh, the, new, the newest feature is this dock. This dock feature. Uh, we actually have. Um, sorry, like, let me uh, fix this mouse problem real quick. So this is the, the new feature of Docs. Uh, we we added um, a feature where you can share uh, content here, and then you can see all the different iterations of the content. Uh, so as you can see, the, these are all the different iterations of each of the Docs. So it started out uh, Ashok just started this Doc with uh, it's very similar, just a one word. Um, and so each iteration is whenever someone builds upon each of the Docs. And you can see uh, the most recent one, see the current, the most current one. See how it's uh, grown over each generation. Um, so this is a feature, you know, it's uh, a lot of groups will utilize it. Um, and just kind of share content, you can see kind of the previous history of the doc. Uh, any questions so far? Uh, does docs uh, replace notes or? No, it doesn't replace notes. It's just notes. a new, it's just, it's just a, a new notes-like feature. Yes, it's a new, it's a new feature that we've added to, uh, to groups. Um, so when you're an admin, you'll have uh, access to, to these, uh, to editing group. So the, a new thing that we have added are these icons. Um, definitely the, the engineering, the design team that is going to design a lot more of these icons. But for now, I mean, these icons will appear next to your group with the home page. So if you go to the home page, like, Sorry. So you see um, on the side here, uh, these icons that you've added for your group, they're going to appear next to them. Um, and they will appear right here until you upload a profile picture. And uh, your profile picture will replace the, the icon. But what you have now on your homepage. So the three privacy settings, um, if you're familiar with the original groups, they, they remain the same. The only difference between uh, these new privacy settings and the old one is that um, everything requests uh, requires an like a request to join the group. Before, when it was an open group, anyone could have just added themselves to the group, and it would have been uh, it would have been open to the public. But now that now an open group means that you can see the content, you can see who's a member of it, but you still need to you can't interact with the group until you exactly. request to join and are added by an admin. Um, the clothes remain the same. Um, has a brief description next to each one of them. So it shows, as you see, members are public, but the content is private. So you can see the group. You see that it exists, but you can't um, you can't see the content and you can't interact with it. Uh, secret is the most restrictive. It means that you won't even see the group, um, even if you like type in the URL for it to look at it to look for it. It won't appear unless you are already part of the group. And so um, it's very similar to what the original setting was for this person. Um, right here is the where you can choose your email address for the group. Um, as Mark was saying, these are going to be very similar to like the vanity URL process, where, where you're, when you can choose like what your vanity URL was. So first come, first serve. Um, you can just uh, it'll be your e mailing list will just be uh, you know it'll be for your ears at groups.facebook.com if we choose it, if it's available. Um, your description is uh, so similar to what we had before. Okay, um, so and right here, it's pretty nice. You can just automatically create an event. It'll add everybody onto the uh, on in the group or into this event, um, and they'll just get receive a notification about it. Um, one thing that a lot of people will, will probably be interested in is in how to control when you receive the site notifications, when you receive email notifications. Um, so I mean, it's it's very simple, straightforward though. I mean, when when you want to be notified, if someone wants to post a comment, if anyone posts, or you just never notify me. So if you don't want to see any notifications. Pretty simple. To turn off. You can easily just uncheck this for email notifications. So uh, settings are very easy to control.
Um, and, that, and the newest, the other new feature is the uh, group chat, uh, which is which is a great product. Um, before it's a little, it's a little different than the original chat. We now have uh, profile pages instead of just names. Um, before it was just, uh, it would just show Austin S. Cresswell rather than his profile picture. And you would just be chatting with your names. But now, now that you have a face to the name, it's, uh, it's much more, uh, much more intuitive and engaging. Um, do you have any specific questions about functionality um, you can run through? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty much the, the basics of it. I mean, everything else works pretty, simply, uh, pretty similar to the original groups. Um, functionality is pretty much the same. Um, and uh, it's very simple, as you can see, to add people and leave the group whenever you want. So, yeah. per perfect. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Do you have any other questions? Uh, feel, free to, feel free to ask. I'll try to do my best to answer any questions you might have. I think we're good for now. Um, this is Ben Parr of Mashable.